Hello, everybody. Welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Wastelander, a roguelike colony building game. We're going to be checking out the Steam playtest for here today. So in we go. Uh, to, you know what? Tutorial. Give me it. Your ship has crashed on an alien world and you're alone in an endless wasteland. Use the scan ability to reveal terrain to help you plan your path throughout the map. Okay. So, first of all, is this is this the entire map that we got access for here? Scan, it takes six energy. Reveal a three by three square. Uh, you know? What do we got in here? Generate electricity. Now that you've scanned around a bit, find a nice spot to build a wind turbine to increase your power output. This will let you power other resource producing buildings. Okay. Three, okay, so we need three stone, one energy, stock, infinite, tile, sand, node, grass, most basic form, energy generation support. Several tile types, but not very efficient. Uh, sure. Build an excavator. Great job. Now that you've increased your power output, find a nice juicy ore tile to put an excavator on. It takes a lot of power, but you need the metal to keep expanding your base. Okay, so as of right now, we don't really know where that is. Okay, so... We also don't have the energy to do... That's a terrifying sound. Don't have the energy to do a scan here. So I think we'll... I think we just need to end turn and uh, get our four energy back here. Is there anything we want to do now? I, I guess I'm not entirely sure. Uh, it'd probably be okay if we spent a little bit of our stone. Connects buildings and transports resources. I don't know if I need that right now mini shield we don't have any water so yeah I, I feel like uh maybe we just go for it right can't really do that because then we it'd be no point you yeah, know what maybe we just do another wind turbine how about that seems like a logical idea good deal so we got the six so now we want to scan for a juicy ore tile as it mentioned really nothing there all right we in i mean we have, it says three turns. In three turns, something is going to happen. I don't know what that is. That's gotta be ore, right? It's gotta be the ore. Clear mountains and collect drops. Once you've got some metal income, it's time to really start exploring. Use some dynamite or build a tunnel to start conquering nearby mountains. If you, are sca if you see a scattered supply drop nearby, don't forget to pick it up as it could contain critical resources or building upgrades to make life in this desolate wasteland easier. Okay. So is this... This does not have power. Is that what you're telling me? Like, we're going to need to connect that, I would imagine. Uh, or it says minus 10 energy. Is it just because we don't have enough energy? Battery. Supports several tile types, but not very efficient. Gives us two... Two battery. I don't know. I'm gonna, uh, let me pop it right down there see what happens. No, we just... Yeah, we need to... I imagine we we're going to need to connect some stuff uh, up. Destroy, investigate, reveal information about the selected cell. Reinforce, use a large amount of metal to construct a scrap shield on a building. Okay. Irrigate. Should we go for the bomb? Stock. We have two, two dynamites that we can do. Just two dynamites. Or we can make a tunnel for eight rocks. You know what? Let's, let's go for one here. And we can, like... Connects buildings and transports resources. Do we need to connect a wind turbine? Like, do we need to manually connect it? Uh, support several tile types. Use this power. I don't know. I'm afraid of, of waste and stuff. Okay, so that it did indeed connect, and now that's all working. Okay. I figured as much. I was just a little concerned. Because uh, things could go down south here. We only have power, so we might as well use our power to... Can maybe. No, I'm trying to right click. So if we have that scan. Scrap shield. Eh. How do we like just drop an item in our hand? Like because I can't just right clicking just reveals that there. I mean it's nice to see this stuff, I guess, but Alright. My, uh, I mean, I feel like I might as well just go for this. We are running kind of a little bit lower on energy. I guess we need more wind turbines. I'm, I'm worried that they maybe. I mean, they should be giving us energy because they're giving us the energy up there, and this connected to that. 
Apparently it was enough to give this power, so I'll take it. Give us a little bit more. Alert, your ship's weather sensors are detecting a dangerous atmospheric storm approaching. Any tile marked red is under threat, and any building on this tile will be destroyed. To prevent this, either use a scrap shield or a seed bomb to protect the tile. Perhaps with time, we can discover more advanced ways to protect our building. What is a seed bomb? Turn a sand tile to grass. Interesting. Well, I mean, I, it's irrelevant right now. We don't really need to protect that. Or we could put the scrap shield on. We have two stock of that. I mean, I'm running kind of lower on the energy. Is there really... There's no better... Way to get the energy right now, huh? Because we're, we're about to run out. We're getting all the metal we, we probably will need here, hopefully. So let's just drop that down. We'll drop down that and and hopefully be fine. A storm has passed through wreaking, wrecking havoc uh, and uncovering new secrets. The next storm is sure to be stronger. Buildings highlighted with red have been destroyed. Remember that you can protect them with grass and shields. New pickups like these have been unearthed. New ruins may be revealed. So we do need to get to that. Also, how do we, um, so how do we claim this? When connected, okay. So we have to connect that in order to get it, but we don't wanna, so are these gonna blow up at the next turn or are they gonna blow up at the end of the, um, end of five turns? Cause that will make a really big difference. Let's connect it. We'll get it. Supply drop found. Ooh. Pick one. Is that what we're doing here? Vapor shield. Tiles lava. Shield that can only be built on lava uses water and power to shield a 5x5 five five area. Ooh. 5x5 five five area. So that would be a 1, 2, 3, 4, one, two, three, four five. One, two, three, four, five. I'm imagining like that. Do I care about that? I mean, that might be nice that we could build up there and we could build up there in safety. We could get seven water. Immediately get seven water. I'll tell you what, I'll do it. I don't think we can... Oh! Oh, it's on that tile. Well, I don't have this. I don't have the supplies for that, so I need to find a way to get water. That's not going to go very well. I didn't, I didn't know that that was going to immediately play it. I thought I was going to get the ability to craft that. I thought that was going to be uh, added over here. So now we are really, really hurting for energy. Really very much so. Reveal a large plus-shaped area. I mean, maybe we could do something like that. Do we care? I don't know. We're going to need to build a tunnel through here as well. That's like another concern of ours. Surface ore deposit counts as a flat tile. Storm danger. And buildings here will be destroyed. I guess I should go for this seed bomb then. Oh, it can only be built on sand. So I can either scrap shield it or I can try and somehow get the water in turn. I'll just do this for now and be a little bit upset about it, I guess. Just because I'm not sure. Yep, we're at, we're at no energy. It looks like this is about to run out of power. Uh, this is gonna go sour. We can put a seed bomb there. We can protect that, I guess. Connect to a ruin. I mean, I'd like to. We've detected an anomaly in the, on the horizon. It appears to be a long abandoned alien ruin. We should extend our base to this area and acquire what technology we can from it. Perhaps it holds the key to a more prosperous life on this planet. I would very much like to. I, I In order to make that happen, I'm going to need... Okay, also, fine. I'm going to need a, um, a tunnel, but I'm also running out of energy. It said I needed more, <laughs> more of this. I don't know. Okay. So we get four. It takes three to make this. So if we do one wind turbine and then we can make a tunnel on top of that, I don't hate that because we can end turn tunnel now, but we probably can't build this on this tile, right? Correct. So we're going to need to blow up a tile and build a, a bridge, unless we have more dynamite. No, we have one dynamite. 
tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to blow up that, because it's going to be in range of that, and then build a tunnel through this. Okay. And then we need how much? Okay. Two, two per time. It's fine. Return, we can go for that. Storm has passed through. Oh, no. Buildings highlighted with red have been destroyed. Remember, you can protect them with grass. So it is at the end of the five turns. Um, new runes may have been revealed. Victory! I did it! My name, Retromation. Okay, great. All right, so that was just the... Uh, that is just like the first loss. It seems like we maybe could possibly keep going. No? No, we beat the tutorial. All right. We beat the tutorial. Great. That was a very easy tutorial. I, I right? <laughs> Smile. Seed? Sure. There's that seed if you want to play it. All buildings must be connected to your base. If not connected, you'll see a disconnected icon on the building. Fair enough. We are very, very zoomed out. Is there a... That might be, like, on purpose. Uh, okay, I'll tell you what. Let's check the settings first. Resolution theme. Wait, what theme? I have no idea. I'm sure it changes something in game. Uh, yeah, well, hit me, uh, hit me with a new, new. There we go. There's the new seat. All right. Okay. Let us give this a go. These are very teeny tiny. It'd be nice if we could zoom in one, you know, and like, I don't know. It'd be, it'd be nice. It'd be very, very handy. We know it's possible for this, the stuff to be bigger. But I'm not, I'm like, if there's a hotkey for it. Oh man, hotkeys. Oh no. There's hotkeys over here. All right, so we would like this. We'd like to claim that. Is it worth blowing up something immediately for? Maybe. Yeah. Because we can do bang, bang. We can get that core mine. Uh, advanced metal extractor can only be built on lava. Immense metal turn a... Okay. Provides immense metal income, but costs a large amount of energy and water per turn. I mean, I don't have the stuff for that right now. That would kind of... It would kind of bleed me dry, and then it would turn that tile into lava. I'm going to take the scrap for now. We'll build this. We get the other reward here. All node tiles are revealed upon selection. Node tiles provide a three times multiplier to buildings placed on them instead of two. Okay. I don't, uh, maybe? Activate the ruin self-destruct protocol. It destroys all mountains in the surrounding 3x3 three three area. Connection to this ruin is no longer required for victory. Ooh, that's kind of fun. A map of the area. Reveal all flat tiles connected to this ruin. All flat tiles connected to this ruin. I mean... You're not saying these, right? Because I, I definitely know that. But if you're saying, like, it expands out until it hits a, a non-flat tile, that, that could be nice. I'm going to hit this. It seems interesting. Okay. Storms have exposed the interface that connects to a vast underground network of machinery. Compatible buildings here, built here, have increased yields counts as a flat tile. So that is an important thing to go for. We also have these revealed. We know where to go for that. But we're obviously going to need a little bit more energy and stuff. I, I, I can't imagine we're supposed to just go, right? Sand node grass. I gotta be honest, which one is metal? Like, is this metal? If so, why are we getting four per turn? Is that because we're, like, built on ore? No? Yeah, it is It is metal. Okay. It is metal. I was, I was assuming as much, but I'm just making sure. Provides extra storage. So, it's the warehouse. Most basic form of metal storage. So, if we built that, we could have two extra metal storage up there. Go up to eight. So then eight battery. Battery should theoretically mean max cap, right? Maybe we can do a little bit of that. Get a little battery. A little battery. Go for a little uh little turbine as well. Just get just get ourselves 
up and going, right? Probably enter. We have a bunch of energy though, but like, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna energy overflow. We should definitely scan. This is a nice little game. What the heck? Wow. Oh boy, that was not a good find. Not a good find. All right. Six, six or. I mean, I don't mind the idea of getting just like a very large sum of uh, backup stuff. Like a very large storage. I like that a lot. Um, we can build three roads. The question is, where would that take us? We don't know what's going on. Ooh, or? Okay. Um, connects buildings and transports resources. Oh, God. Does this... Does this jank it? It might jank it. This takes 10 power. So we can't make that yet. Not enough metal. We don't have enough metal either. Oh, it's going to take a couple turns. Get 10 energy, though. Aye, aye, aye. What do we build? I guess, could we get away with a scan? If we're going to have to wait two turns anyways, we can get away with a scan. Trying to figure out what it'll take to get ourselves over to that. Ooh. There's a little supply. God, I'm hoping this battery being right here does not ruin everything for us. It, it genuinely might. It genuinely might. All right, so five to make that. We're gonna get three. We can happily spend a extra wind turbine there. and then hit and turn one more time and we're not overflowing. Well, we overflowed just like a little bit. Okay, it's working. It is working. It's hard to tell, it's super tiny, but it's working. So we're starting to get a little bit of a, um, of a falling in our energy. Storm has uh, passed through, wreaking havoc and uncovering new secrets. Next storm is sure to be stronger. I could just leave this and let this get blown up and then we just put down another one. It's really not that big of a deal to me. Ruined land cannot support life or buildings, but does count as a flat tile. Moisture farm generates a small amount of water from sand tile at the cost of a small amount of energy. That seems really helpful. I think this, like, we're early on. Feels like going for a long term reusable blueprint. So we do get. Ah, okay, so it tells us. That is now a reusable blueprint that we now just have. Okay, we're about to lose this energy. If we're losing the energy anyways, should we just scan? No. No, no, no. All right. Uh, so this takes how much? It takes three. We do need the wind turbine. Is there really no better source of energy right now? I'm sure we'll unlock a better way to get energy. Obviously, a wind turbine over here is neat because it'd be like a triple without much effort. Takes three. I mean, the moisture farm is, is nice. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm excited by it. Okay. All right. So now we are net neutral on energy. We are net neutral. Not great. Not great. Two, two rock. Sure, let's do it. We do want to get ourselves over there. Click here. Do we start to move over? Oh, we do. All right. Is there anywhere else we want to schmoove? We can't build anything on this. Okay, so a rail counts as a... Um, it counts as a building. Gotcha. Like, I want to connect to this because obviously we need that in order to win. It gives us passive upgrades. Uh, so just getting that quickly seems like a great call. And every time a storm happens, it reveals a new one. This is, this game is really clever. This game is really clever. Just a nice little clever package. Dang, man. Uh, two energy. I don't have that really going on here. I do like the extra ore. I do want more storage, but it's just so pitiful. Uh... First, what are we going to need for water? Like, what does water really help us with? Use a large amount of water to turn a sand tile into grass. Okay, so that is basically like... That's a seed bomb. 
that we can do forever, but it's very expensive. Gotcha. It's a non-limited seed bomb. We have that one that we can use for free. We have the scrap shield. The, like, these items, these are like lifesavers. These are like lifelines. They're very, very helpful, very powerful. Like, I don't know if I want to use, just use a bomb here because we don't have another one. What if we really need that later? Uh, mini shield. Shields all adjacent tiles while connected. I mean, that seems good, too. Has to be connected. Has to use one energy. I'm going to overflow my, my stone by one. I think that's okay. And we'll just build a tunnel here. Oh! That hurts. Storm. Okay, so that, that broke our, our line there. I mean, that's okay. We kind of knew that was going to happen. We can just rebuild another one. Everything is all reconnected up again. It's not great. We have a lot of tiles to be worried about here. Can't really protect these. I definitely don't need this battery right now. Like, if it blows up, that's fine. It's kind of three rocks so it's like kind of annoying but it's not that bad not really this is bleeding our energy absolutely dry so it feels like what what do we have an abundance of we have an abundance of stone so we got to figure out how do i turn my abundance of stone into something truly truly useful reinforcing feels like a useful thing to go for uh I guess we can reinforce it's five it feels like using five stone to reinforce something feels stupid unless it's worth more than five to me you know that doesn't feel like it makes any sense right like just cost benefit analysis on that is just bad okay rail cost goes down to one Ooh. activate this ruins emergency defense protocol I don't think I need that area map. I don't think I need that. Rail cost going down to one is so nice. There's another one of those down there. But yeah, what what's the big deal? If our if our windmill gets bobbed, certainly it's annoying. Does this count as connected? Does, do, do windmills even need to be connected? I don't know. All I know is the efficiency of it is truly as bad as it says. It says it's not very efficient, and boy howdy do I agree. Uh, we're we're gonna start to finally we're you know we're at the net positive. We can build a couple more windmills. We've got two turns left, which is scary. But like we don't care about our rails being blown up now. It doesn't really mean much to me. Doesn't really mean much to me. We'll just rebuild them. We have the technology. Windmills for days. That better count as connected. Storms come through. Yep, well aware. I, I don't care about that battery right now. Okay, we're good. How much energy? We, we have an overflow of energy. Oh, so we can overflow. We can overflow for a turn. It just goes like it just goes away. That's just the thing. Man, the amount of effort it'll take to get down here is kind of annoying. We could go. Maybe, uh, maybe we're lucky. Maybe this is. What the hell is that? <laughs> Gateway, an ancient gate, where there is one. There must be another nearby. I wonder if they're connected. So if I connect to it, it like there's like a teleport thing. It supports a variety of specialized buildings. I don't have anything to do with that right now. Right? I don't think so. Don't think so. Eesh. All right, trying to think about my best course of action to go for that. Maybe go for the big old scan. What is that? Nanobot factory. These nanobots from this ancient factory appear to be frenzied and dangerous. Perhaps this is what ruined the world? We can use them to dig up sand tiles for a chance at buried treasure, but the bots will require metal to build, though. 
Provides the harvest ability while connected to a base. Ooh. Gives us a whole new ability. Nanobot factory ability turns a sand tile into a wasteland, but has a chance to generate a random pickup reward. Oh. I, I might need to... Man might need to do some tunneling. And if I'm going to do some tunneling, I think I... I should I build a warehouse? I'm going to need a warehouse. The question is, if I, if I put it here, then I'll have to protect it. If I put it... Yeah, I can put it right there. It's fine. I like that. I like that fine. Alright, time to do some tunneling. Do I just go down here and hope, though? Do I waste my last one? Oh, that's not a waste. That's, that's pretty good. Okay, there's a tunnel going through there now. Good. Another tile over there. Uh, yeah, I don't care about any of my railroads being broken. It's irrelevant to me. They're super cheap. This is the most annoying thing, but it's almost like... Should I spend a seed bomb to protect it? I guess I'll spend one seed bomb to protect it. I, I guess? Is it valuable? I don't know. I'm not sure if it is. Okay. I would like to connect that. And then I think we put... Do we? I don't know if we bother putting a rail down there right now. Okay, so no, we can't overflow. Super efficiencies for whatever's built there. What, what do we want there? Like, it feels stupid to put a wind turbine to just make it do, like... Give us three energy. That doesn't feel like it's enough. I feel like maybe a moisture farm. I feel like we could maybe do a lot with that. But it needs to be on a sand or a node. That is a node. Okay. Yeah. I think we put it on a moisture farm. I feel like three water is going to be nice. We're going to need water tanks to do so. More ore. Storm hit. It's going to be annoying, but... Just reconnect it all. It's fine. It's worth. Is everything reconnected? I want this too, but that yeah. The, I could go. I guess now that the storm is away, we could go boom, and make a tunnel here too to connect this and see where it leads us. There's just a lot that we can do right now. So it's just like I can. Or all right, nanobot factory discovered. We got it. We have the harvest ability now as well. We're getting the water, but we have no storage for it. So, yeah. Two water tanks. I mean, I'm happy to just do it. Bing, bang. So now we have a water storage of four. I would really like to have a water storage of seven at the very least. Eight, eight would make me pretty happy too. Okay. Good, good. That's just where that's our that's our water storage area. So cuz now we have the ability to hopefully irrigate turning some tiles a little bit safer. This is dangerous. Like that's a problem. We got to put our shield on that. That that's important for us. We have this. So it, we just get the harvest ability. That's that's what we get. Turns a sand tile into wasteland. Oh, this is this is what I thought there was ice natural water deposit oh sand node grass so this needs to be on a water pump all right so that's a very efficient thing but it takes a lot of water I'm, I'm happy with what we did here I think that's okay I have no areas that I'm... Oh, I was going to say I have no areas that I'm, like, truly desperate to protect, but... You know what? I'm going to end turn. I'm going to destroy. And then I am going to... <gasps> that has to be built on lava! Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, we have two turns left. That's fine. 
Okay, so that connects us over here. Oh, wow, that's actually really close to this. I could connect it right now. Should I? Equipment packs award one extra stock. What? Is stock the name of that? No, those are augments. Activate this ruin's tectonic destabilization and destroy all mountains in the surrounding area. Converts them to lava. Converts them to lava. I don't know what equipment packs are. If, if that is... If that means we can take two items from those random drops, that's busted. Absolutely busted. Okay. Let's do it. Okay, so we don't really know the effects of it too much. Wait, three by three? A three by three, that's it? Oh god, that was not worth it. I was thinking that was going to be bigger for some reason. Even though it literally told me. Alright, what are we working on? We, we, we're currently a little bit concerned about that. But we can just... We can't irrigate because it's not sand. So I can't really... This is connected, by the way. I, I made sure of it. How can I protect that? How do I... Is there... Oops. There's no way to make lava, is there? I can reinforce. I guess there's that. It's kind of expensive, but it's, I think it's worth it. I don't want to have to remake that. That that would be a little bit more annoying. I might as well irrigate something. I'll irrigate that. We got seven energy. Plenty to search for something. A little something, something. Let's check right there. Know what we're in for. We can't build on water with this, can we? We cannot. Storm. Connect there. Double connect there. We lost both of those windmills, which is... Ooh, we lost a lot of windmills, which is really annoying. Ooh, boy. That is... That was a very annoying get. Annoying bomb. It disconnected a lot of our stuff that we really wanted there. Okay. Oof. Yeah, that was that one was that was a little painful. We need energy still. Where, where all did we lose? We must have lost some windmills here. Here. It's okay. There. All right, back to back to neutral. That was a painful one. We can't irrigate. I might sea bomb this. That's a warehouse. That's pretty important. Okay, two turns left. Ay yay yay. We're not getting as much water per turn as I would like. Well, that's because we're using water. What are we using? We're using one water over here. So we get some plus three there. I mean, I would like to get this, but we don't have the energy to facilitate it. We are going to need even more windmills is basically the whole kit and the whole caboodle. Like, there's a lot of stuff over here that's in danger, though. It's fine. Just go for it. Boom. Boom. I would love to get a more efficient windmill, you know? Okay, so... Everything that's dying is just roads or this. I cannot protect it with anything else. One turn. I could seed bomb it or I could just let it happen because it's three rocks. I have two seed bombs left. I also have one scrap shield left. Fine, I'll protect it. I'll protect it. Fine. Fine, 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 fine. All right. I would like to get down here. I would like to claim... I, I, I would like to claim that, I'd say. It's not urgent, though. Okay. I'm sure we lost a bunch of connections. But just like that, we're fine. Uh, irrigating up there seems quite handy. I don't mind just um, trading one of our waters. How much does it take? Uh, nothing. Okay, so we can go for another search. What it'll take to get down there. This game is really relaxing. God, this is nice hit me with not enough metal. Okay. Let's finally go to the next one. It is. I mean, that's pretty exciting. This is not connected up. Should it be connected up? I mean, it 
we need it to win. There's seven, apparently. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're connected to one, two, three. There's one, two, three, four more that we know of. And that more keep on showing up. Is it that more just keep on showing up no matter what here? Like, should we just start... Start moving through? Is that what we, what we should be doing? Just, like, start going? We should definitely irrigate. We're at plus four. We can maybe go for a water pump. We have three turns left. A water pump. There's just so many things that we can be juggling right now. Uh water pump and then we could go for an irrigate on like one of the windmills or something I guess up here that's nice we're gonna need more windmills to facilitate that okay energy we have an overflow ooh supplies okay Five out of eight. I mean, I wouldn't mind even more water storage so that we don't overflow as much, especially because we have the plus four. That or we can just, like, the amount of overflow isn't that high if we irrigate relatively responsibly with this. Do want that. Okay. All right. So we got the seven. That's six energy. I'm, I'm really itching to scan that. Okay. A tunnel is too expensive. We're going to overflow. Got to spend it on something. I guess I'll go for a windmill. Oh, I found a supply drop. It just happened to be to the left there. Uh, reusable blueprint heat pump. Get three energy at the cost of one water. Ooh. And shields itself while connected and powered. Yeah. Sounds great. So it uses one. I mean, that's that's fantastic. We're gonna need um, we're gonna need more batteries to make that really work for us, though. One turn, we're gonna see a lot of stuff blow up, but only a couple windmills. That's like the biggest problem. A couple windmills. Oh, that was a that was a lot more blown up up there than I thought. I've like I got really lucky with the the upgrade that gave me the extra, uh, the much cheaper rails. That's really, really, really nice. Such a small radius. All right. Uh, batteries we want energy. You know, well, let's just do a little that little scan or so. Okay, let's scan up there too. Got four water to play with. Don't really want to use it right now. I think we wait for next turn. Oop. Battery, right? Yeah. We're hitting our cap too often. Irrigate, absolutely. What do we irrigate, though? I think it's that. It's... Feels like we need more protection up there. I don't know, like, am I crazy for thinking it seems stupid to spend five stone to protect something that costs three stone? Five ore for something that costs three ore? Feels stupid. I feel like that's for things that will be messier to build. Uh, it's definitely not, like, I can't imagine that this is for protecting rails. It seems stupid. It seems, financially seems very dumb. I can see it maybe for uh, windmills if you're in, like, a... Oh, okay. Speaking of, this is awkward. This is more what it's for. I would say. For things like that. Um, does it just protect it once or does it protect it forever? It looks like it might protect it forever. I think it's more for these other situations where uh, it's a little bit more expensive. If you lose it, it might be like a really big hassle. You may not have the exact supplies you need again. Just a couple things like that. Like, should I mini shield this? I could mini shield this and then build... Like a couple windmills around this, I guess. But I do want to make sure we get more water. Is there any more water that we haven't we haven't claimed that? It's kind of a, yeah. Three turns away though. It's fine. Okay, so that's plus six. Like, 
it's getting up there. We almost have the ability to protect one sand tile every single turn. We can we can terraform this entire planet at some points, like not too far off. Uh, as far as energy, I think we just scan a bit. Oh, you don't say. Volcanic mineral filter. Uh, must be built on lava. Takes one water, generates one ore. Plus two stock. Oh, plus that's what you mean by stock. Gotcha. Of the weather disperser item. I don't know what that means for us, though. I kind of want to take it because I'm curious. Oh, it's just one we haven't seen before. Clear a small plus-shaped area of storm. Oh. That's kind of nice. Is it that beneficial? Eh. Probably shouldn't have gone for it. I like it. It's literally a little diffuser. Okay. Let's just get our rump down here. Can we make this? Oh, minus 10. It's... It's... Ex Expensive. We're about to get blasted. It's okay. Just got to do a lot of connecting now. A lot of reconnecting. It's the storms are getting. Yep, the storms are getting much worse. Um, hit me with a scan. We have a lot of water. Oh my, yeah, look how bad this is getting. We have this seed bomb, maybe, like, you know, whatever. Just do it. Okay. Oof. Oof, oof. Okay, so that's connected. We lost a lot of our energy. It's fine. Uh, what's not connected? That's not connected. God, yeah, see, now it's, it's taking a lot. So we do need to get that ore. Like, we need to get that ore that's important for us. But to get that ore, we need, like, a lot of energy. Like, a lot. It's not powered on yet. Now it can be powered on. We have a massive energy deficit. We need to spend all of our stuff to make just more windmills, pretty much, right now. Uh, we can irrigate something. Say we irrigate a windmill, I guess. Like, we're building right inside that, which is not great, but I think it's important that we do right now. All right. Windmill it up. Spread it all out. We're almost net positive again on energy. But now we're... <laughs> but now, look, we're going to get smacked. Yes, of course. Our production is pretty rough. Oh, God. Like, I hate having to build straight through that. That sucks. Okay, connect that. We need to connect to the portal. Are we not? We are. It's just broken here. Oh, what? Oh, 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 wait. Something else broke. Something bigger broke. I may actually end up wanting to go for this. So this is all unconnected down there too. Yeah, we're after spending, we're have, having to spend, oh, that's what was missing. Oh my God, that's what it was. Huh. Having to spend a lot more to do a lot less. That's a good connect. It gives us a little bit of protection. We can probably save, I mean, not probably, we can literally safely build a bunch of windmills right around there. Uh, yep, bet, bet. Bet. Net. Okay. Net positive again. We're just getting. <laughs> we're net positive, but we've also connected up to this, so that's really helpful. We are one tile away from getting this. I almost think we just like blow this up at this point. Defeat. Wait. When? Why? <laughs> Why? Why? Uh, I like this a lot. I'm confused. Was it just like a flat amount of turns that if we didn't get it in time, we lose? Oh, it was right here. Oh my god, there was a... Okay, so there was a really brutal little timer there. Gotcha. 
I will say hitting end turn when the game's over to like to make it so there's a leave game would probably be a good call. Let's just click back in real quick to see what the timer is. Ah, yeah. That's what it is. Yep, 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 yep. Fair enough. I did not see that. I, I mean, you know. But hey, I'll tell you what. We were probably going to be done here in a short little bit anyways. I typically do mine in about 50 minutes. Uh, I actually, I really like that game length. That game length is actually fantastic. <laughs> huh. This is, a, this is a really neat little game, though. This is a really neat little game. Uh... I don't know what the release situation is like. It says it's going to be coming out in 2022. There's currently a play test that you can sign up for on Steam. That's what I did. This was not like I didn't reach out. I didn't get reached out to any of that. I literally just went to the Steam page and I requested to join the play test. I got into the play test. You might you might be able to as well. I don't know exactly what the situation with, with it is. I don't know what the requirements are or if there's a limit. But you can go check it out, possibly for free right now, to help playtest the game before it does eventually, I'm sure, get released for a price. I would I would imagine this, this deserves to be a paid game. Like, this is such a neat little thing. Like, our, the visuals are obviously very simplistic, but this is just a really clean tight relaxing strategy colony builder kind of game the fact that there's a daily challenge too is really fun you can play the daily for like you can play the future daily that's interesting that's really interesting but yeah you can there's a daily ah oh, that's so cool high scores there are no high scores for the seed yet very neat uh this game is it's great it's actually it's just great it's a i what would I say to change? I don't know, man. Like, maybe highlight the, the turn counter a little bit more when you're closer to the end. Like, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Not. Even that, like, it happens to you once you'll never forget to, to make sure to double check up there. Uh, and also, maybe, at the when the game is over, change the end turn to the end game, to an end game button. Like, <laughs> the, when those are my things that I say to change, like, you know things are just fine. <laughs> like, it's it's a really just nice game. I don't know what to say. Just, it, it's ripe for expansion and upgrades and interesting things. Like, having, um, you can have different, I see the word scenarios here. I don't know what this is about. Uh, pick a scenario. Like, here's the thing. Oh, 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 like I could just, um, that's what that is. I could just rebuild back to this. I see. Like, I guess, obviously, the, the meta is to expand out towards the towards these faster. That's literally just it. You win when you collect them all. Um, and I'm seeing definitely the benefit of blowing some up so that you don't have to get to them. Like, because then you don't have to worry about your, your rails getting connected all up and, like, everything like that. Um, very cool. Very, very cool. Alas... Uh, I'd be very happy to play more of this. This game is great. It's just really, really nice. I, I'm curious to see where they take it. Obviously, it's not even it's not even out in early access or anything yet. It's version 0.7.2. It's just it's just not out yet. You can play test it though. Um, so like an update that has you know just more potential perks, more potential passives, more like all that. That's all things that they could do down the line if it if people like it. Uh, you could even like go down. Like, it'd be scary to potentially bloat uh the base experience you can even have like a full-on alternate mode scenario like i saw a scenario here and that made me think that there could eventually be like a an update or a dlc thing where you can just play a different form like maybe there's just a different potential hazard instead of the storm maybe a different type of storm or or like you have access to different buildings at the start than you normally would and maybe they do different things there's different types of tiles like in a kind of like an offshoot mode you know like maybe with a different theme things like that very just so much uh room to explore this concept and it's done so well i cannot recommend it enough i don't know what the price will be obviously so i can't speak to that but um dang i'm looking forward to it i i was not sure what to expect and i'm really looking forward to this game i out of nowhere wastelander 
check it out. It's a, it's very good. Very good. Thank you for watching. Check out the channel. I cover roguelikes and more every single day. If you like things like this, things that are going under the radar at the time of recording, there's literally not any YouTube videos on the entire website for this game that I could find. If you want to subscribe to a channel that will showcase new things daily like this, that nobody else has yet, this is the channel for you. This is what you want to be subscribed to. You want to be subscribed to this channel. So you get the heads up on these things before anybody else. This is where you go. Thank you for watching. Thank you, thank you. Check the channel for Roguelikes more every single day, and I'll see you next time. Bye!